Hello and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special K. Tonight we have a first time beer on the show. This is Alesmith. It's an IPA. It's a West Coast style IPA India Pale, and this is made in San Diego, California. Oh. Again, like I just said, this brewery it's has, alive. Not, has not been available in Kentucky until very recently. Did you shake it up first? I did not shake it up. <laughs> it has a few battle wounds on the can here. Oh, okay. I have a paper towel underneath the bar there. Uh, yeah, I'll get you. to it. <laughs> it's it's got a it's got a very large head. <laughs> so it says, serve in a feature glass. Serve it between forty to fifty degrees. It pairs well with blue cheeses. I'm not a big fan of blue cheese. Now we should have got some blue cheese. I I will tear up some blue cheese. I'm not a big fan of blue cheese. Now that looks like a good looking beer. Um, it's a little bit cloudy. It's not as cloud, cloudy as some some IPAs you get that look like milkshakes. Yeah. It has a couple large particulate in there. Just just floating around doing particulate stuff. Smell that. That's yes. Nice. This takes me back to the early thousands. <laughs> it does. It's very citrus forward. Very citrus. Um, lots of hops in there. A little floral. Yeah. Early thousands. Woo! Early West thousands. IPA. IPA, absolutely. It says it's a West Coast style, but that is... That's kind of nostalgic, actually. It tastes a little more like a traditional IPA, in my opinion. Pretty hot forward. Nice citrus notes in there. Tiny bit malty on the back end. It's grassy. It's, it's grassy on the front end as well. It's nice and nice and mellow on the front end. The only thing that reminds me of the West Coast style is the mouthfeel. Honestly, it has that mouthfeel of a West Coast style. Yeah. But it doesn't have like it's not like a traditional. A, doesn't have a super heavily uh, super heavy mouthfeel on it. Not oily. You get some IPAs that just like cling to the inside of your mouth. They're so thick. This is not thick. Can's pretty cool. I like their design on it. I dig the can. Uh, what? What sports team is that? This is going to sell really well in uh, uh, Michigan. Sure. Uh, Except Michigan has a lot of breweries. Green Bay Packers. Sure. Yeah. Packers. They're green and green and gold, aren't they? Is that Michigan? Or green and white? Are they in Michigan? I'm pretty sure they're in Michigan. I don't know. I don't do sports ball. I mean, I don't either. But I, I know. I know. I have some information. I have to watch me be wrong on both things. Someone in the comments can be like, "No, nah, that's the Steelers." The Steelers are black and gold. Oh, is it? Yeah. I thought they were white and. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I do know. I do know Steelers because my dad is a Steelers fan. But. Ah, I gotcha. Um. Yeah, it's it's. I don't know about being a West Coast, but the mouthfeel is the only West Coast thing about it. Otherwise, it tastes like a traditional IPA. It has a hint of a, it hinted a little bit of dank on it, just a tiny bit. Just of a little bit. bit. Like a little danky dank on the back That's what, end. that's what makes me feel like this is a, yeah. like an early thousands type IPA. It's not so danky that, you know what I mean, it's not. Oh yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt me to drink. Some of those IPAs that were coming out were just like, people enjoy this? Yeah, it's not that kind of dank, you know. Tastes, tastes like skunk smells, just ugh. This is this is a, a really well balanced IPA. Time for a this is great. number radar. Mm, I'm. I feel like nostalgia is going to play a play a role in my number here. I'm going to give this an eight and a half. This is really good. This is something I'm going to be looking for when I go to the store. I'm going to get a six pack. Um, I'm not that impressed with it. Not as impressed as you are with it. Uh, I think I'm going to go with a. It's good. I'm going to go with a seven. It's in the good range, but uh, you know, it's not it's not that much of a West Coast style beer, even though it says it is. Like mm -hmm. I said, it's not as hazy as I expect it to be. It's okay, you know. Yeah, I it's... wouldn't be disappointed if I had it at a bar or something. Oh yeah. Well, I don't know about paying bar prices for it, but I would I would definitely think real hard about it. Would you recommend it? Oh yeah. I mean, if you were if you were drinking IPAs. When they were super popular, that's going to do it for you. That's that's going to make you excited. Yeah, if you're a hop head, uh, this would be a good one for you. Um, as far as recommendations go, price on this bad boy for a pint, it was under three dollars for a pint. I want to say it was like two thirty nine is what I paid for mm -hmm. it, and that was a total wine. Total wine is always going to be your cheapest place to get 
beer. Um, and they do price matching if you do manage to find it somewhere cheaper. So always check your websites, by the way. Uh, oh, yeah. It. Especially when you buy a lot of alcohol, like we do. Anybody that is having a special, they'll match it, and it's the greatest thing ever. It is. So L. Smith, um, overall, we've only had one beer from them, but I'm looking forward to trying some other stuff from them, as hopefully Total Wine gets them in stock for us, particularly. But I don't know. Oh, we didn't talk about the ABV on this one. What is the ABV on this bad boy? Ooh, no idea. Take a guess. It's an IPA. It's pretty strong. They could get away with making this like seven uh, percent. Pretty good guess. Pretty good guess. It's seven point two. Oh. Seven point two five. Actually, that's a pretty good guess. That's good not guess. bad. Actually, I'm proud it, of myself. It tastes about that. I would say it tastes about a seven percent for sure. Yeah. All right, well, that has been our episode. If you'd like to see anything else on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching.